Over 3,000 feet beneath the Pacific Ocean, after hundreds of years of searching, a live, giant 10-foot squid is captured on video in its natural habitat for the first time. And tonight, a team of scientists and filmmakers from Discovery Channel and the Japanese broadcaster NHK are revealing stunning images of this rare creature. They're calling it the holy grail of natural history filmmaking. Here's a preview of Monster Squid, the giant is real. In the unexplored abyss, mankind finally confronts the legend of the deep. Okay, very, very good. Love it. I spoke to marine biologist Dr. Edie Witter about this historic sighting. She helped design and invent the sub that made the discovery possible. I asked her why finding this squid is such a big breakthrough. It's special because it wasn't just a chance glimpse. We actually saw the giant squid six separate times. And it's an indication that we've been hunting for it in the wrong way. And we paid attention to what squid pay attention to, and that's why we were able to see it. This is the most amazing thing. You guys did set out to actually see these giant squid, and you caught it with a very ingenious lure. What was it? It was an optical lure that imitates a type of bioluminescent display. A lot of animals in the deep ocean make light, and some of them use light to defend themselves from predators. And the type of display I used is one that a deep sea jellyfish uses to kind of scream for help. And so if the jellyfish is being munched on by a fish, say, it lights up with this pinwheel of light and it isn't going to um, scare the fish away necessarily, but what it might do is attract a larger animal that will attack the fish and thereby give the jellyfish a chance to escape. It sounds like, some, so, sort of, it sounds like some sort of crazy... Uh, almost cartoonish food chain situation where you have the smaller the smaller animal being eaten by a bigger animal which then attracts the smaller one attracts even a bigger one to come to its rescue yes that's exactly what it is it's a, it's absolutely a food chain phenomenon amazing and so you you were in this sub and you saw when you saw this what was your reaction Actually, we filmed it a bunch of different ways and uh, the camera system I was using was being um, deployed off the ship and it would float around by itself for a couple of days at a time and that was the first imagery we got the black and white imagery I think you've probably seen was with my yeah. camera system and so uh, the first time I saw it was on board the ship and a uh, graduate student actually was the first person to see it um, Wen Sung Chung uh, was reviewing the tape while I was down in the submersible and when I came back up he showed it to me and we all went completely nuts um, <laughs> which they actually got on, got on camera because at first I just couldn't even believe it and then as if that weren't enough we kept getting sightings and then uh, Dr. Kubadera made a submersible dive and he was using uh, bait and a another type of optical lure that brought a giant squid in and the squid started munching on the bait and so Dr. Kubadera risked turning on the white lights because we'd just been using red light in order not to scare the animal away and he turned on the white lights and it didn't bolt it stayed around and so the footage you're going to see Sunday night is just absolutely breathtaking. Wow, well you guys really did your homework. You clearly uh, built a better mousetrap here. Um, what, what exactly, it's, what, it's called uh, Medusa, the, the device you sent down there. What, what does it look like or what does it actually do? It's, uh, it looks like a cube about three foot by three foot by three and a half feet. And uh, it's got a camera system on it with, that uses um, red light to illuminate the scene and the camera itself is intensified. And then sticking out in front of the camera is a um, basically a long stick that's got the uh, the electronic jellyfish, which looks like a glass sphere, on the end of it. And so that electronic jellyfish was producing the display the whole time it was down there in order to attract in the squid. Absolutely incredible, Dr. Edie Witter. Thank you very much. Can't wait to watch. Thanks. Thank you.
Monster Squid, the giant Israel, airs tonight at 8 p.m. on the Discovery Channel. Actors honoring actors.